97 kilogram final. Justin Rademacher in the red, Cody Merrill in the blue. Rademacher representing Oregon State in the Beaver Dam RTC. Merrill, Gilroy, Daniel Cormier Wrestling Club and soon to be Oklahoma State. Heavy clubs from each guy. Rademacher looking for a two on one. Rademacher gonna get hit with the first passivity. Merrill threading a shot. Doing a good job of staying squared up here in front headlock. Now Merrill's got a lock around a leg. Coming up and out the back door. Right into a leg lace. Middle of the mat. This could be dangerous for Rademacher. Rodebacher doing a good job of turning in, preventing any turns. So the score will stay at two to zero. Merrill with a big win over Cole Mirasola in the semifinals, six to zero to make it here. Rademacher went 10 to zero over Herzog of Air Force. Now Rademacher looking to come behind, but Merrill squaring up, sitting through. Again in this front headlock position. Now Rademacher in good position to finish. Needs to get an elbow or a knee down. He's got plenty of time to do it, and there he does. So Rademacher in the lead on criteria. And that'll do it for the first period. Two to two. Merrill was able to win the front headlock battle in the first sequence, and then Rademacher got the better of him on the second time. You don't want to spend too much time there, even if you're super comfortable if you're Cody Merrill in that front headlock position. Front headlock position is definitely an advantage whoever's on top. Nice counter by Merrill, but Rademacher squares up. Nice attack from Merrill. Pops his head out, came close. He had the angle, but lost his footing there a little bit. Couldn't finish. 
And we got some blood coming from, I think, the mouth of Merrill. Let me get that cleaned up. So twice in the second period, Merrill's come close to getting to the leg. He likes that kind of snap shuck single leg. He's been able to get his hand to it, but couldn't just pull his body into it. See what adjustments each guy is going to make here at the break. Two minutes to go. Rademacher looking for underhooks. Now dig, both guys digging inside ties. There was kind of that little snap shuck from Merrill. Merrill looking for front head. Now as we hit the minute mark, Merrill's really got to start thinking about an attack here. He is losing on criteria. Rademacher can't coast, so he's going to have to stay engaged, which he's doing a good job of so far. Rademacher has been able to match the physicality of Merrill this match, which not a lot of high school guys are able to do. See again, Rademacher getting to that underhook. Merrill trying to push him out for the step out. But Rademacher going to his knees, one offered and confirmed. I think that's because, and we're gonna get a challenge, Brick. Not sure if that's a great challenge. You're going to put yourself down by two if you lose. Now, Rademacher's these definitely came down in the zone. And good challenge from the Oregon State corner. Shows how much I know. No points. Grounded the call. So, Rademacher's still in the lead. 2-2 two to two with 15 seconds to go. Heavy snap. Merrill looking for the angle. And now Merrill picking up his sprint. 3-2-1. One, Justin Rademacher gonna do it. He wins it on criteria two to two over Cody Merrill.